Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice artwork. So let's start. As you can see here, there's one picture. In the layers you would find there's one picture and one layer. So this picture's link is in the description below, you can download it anytime. So let's lock this layer with a picture and add a new layer. And in this new layer, you have to get the pen tool and add triangles. So basically you have to fill everything with triangles. And what's nice about this method is that you can control the colors of each triangle based on what you want. So as you can see here, it's mostly white. So I create a triangle on this mostly white area. And if I want to continue another triangle stuck to this triangle, you have to hold shift to get the star sign. Because if you don't hold shift, you will get the minus sign and click and it cancels the triangle. So go back and hold shift this time and get the star sign and continue. So that's basically it. So you have to follow the line of the face. So if this line is going this way, you have to go this way and create triangles. And follow the colors. So if this is black, you have to create a triangle here and hold shift and a triangle here and continue the same way. So that's how I did everything. So I'm gonna go back and start fresh and fast.
Okay, after you're done, select everything and Ctrl C to copy and add a new layer and Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. So now you have two layers of the same thing. Okay, so now we lock one of them and we select the next one and select everything and remove the stroke. And now select everything again and zoom in and get the bucket tool and press once and now you can color on each triangle so now we go to layer one where the picture is unlock it and press on it and increase the opacity back to 100 so we can see the real colors because we want to copy the same colors and now get the eyedropper which is i and the live bucket tool which is k so Press I with the eyedropper and select this color and K and color with the bucket tool. And do the same for all the triangles. But you can see you chose the same color coincidentally. So what you have to do is to focus and with the eyedropper take a color which is slightly different. But also pay attention to the light and dark. So get the eyedropper and select maybe from the corner. Okay, now it's different. Select a different color and color. Now you can see there's different colors. But pay attention to the light, so you don't want to, in this area, you need to make it light. And the dark areas are dark, so with the eyedropper, always take the right color. That's what's nice about this idea, you can choose whatever color you have inside the triangle. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest, I'm going to speed up.
and we're done so as you can see here we have in the layers this layer and the lines so what we can do here is when you zoom in on the lines you will notice that the edges are pointed so how we can fix this pointed edges just zoom out select everything and go to window stroke and select this one round join and now when you zoom in it's no more pointed so now we can actually make it a little bit less in the stroke maybe put it on 0 0.75 okay this looks better and let's turn on layer 3 and I added another layer which is just a rectangle a white rectangle so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna double click on the gradient tool and add 100 opacity white here with a location 37 and a location 89 zero opacity on the right side and this one is on location 65.4 so you will have this rectangle so this rectangle let's cut it Control x and go to layer 3 and Control shift v to paste in place on top of this and let's delete layer 4 so now we have on layer 3 the face the face and the gradient so let's select all of them and then go to opacity here click on it and create make mask so now the right side is fading so what we can do now is let's unlock layer 2 and get the circle tool and go to window go to color and put it on black and zoom in and create a circle holding shift to make it proportional a small one and just place it here and let's place on every intersection so hold alt and just drag to copy and place one on every intersection so this looks better and we're done